All right. Hey, everybody. Hello. 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 How Good is morning. everyone doing? Hello, Miss Karen. Good morning, How's Kelly. Good morning, everybody. How's coffee this morning? Mine's delish. Yeah. I have my perfect, um, my creamer. You know, when you run out of your favorite creamer and you're like, it's not the same. It's yep. good today. Yep. Good. It's always good, isn't it? All right. Hello, everybody. I see y'all coming in. Oh, I need to turn Please on my... Please say good morning and um, let me know if the feed is okay. You know what? I think I I forgot to put my... Hello, Miss Karen. <laughs> I'm sorry. I forgot to um, switch the Wi-Fi off on my phone, so let me know if it's too blurry. <clears throat> Hey ladies, hello, 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 I see you all. So um, for those of you that are brand new, if you are new here, my name's Kelly Weiler and the owner of Girl Upcycled Studio located in Zanesville, Ohio, an hour east of Columbus. And I have Karen Crone here with me. Karen, say hello and introduce yourself and tell Hi. them all the things about your place. I am Karen and I'm from Stewart, Florida, which is South Florida, about five miles from the Atlantic Ocean. And I have a little shop called Vintage Vibes and I sell everything vintage. I paint furniture, I paint canvases, um, I sell records, vintage records, and I upcycle a lot of furniture and items. And um, I'm just having a great time doing it. I opened about seven months ago, right during COVID. So it gave me two weeks of shutdown time to tear down walls and put up walls. And um, I've been open to the public now, I guess for about six months and, you know, with um, hand sanitizer and masks. And so it's, it's going really good and I'm really happy and pleased. That's good. I'm glad you guys are doing so good. So, yeah, awesome. it's the records. <laughs> Everybody loves records. I know, right? So um, tell us what you're going to work on today. Hello, okay. Christine and Deborah. Hi, everybody. Hi, Deborah. Hi, Christine. Hi, Marie. How are you? Okay, so I'm going to do, um, I'm going to paint a, um, a lamp base. So I started one on Sunday, and then I thought, oh, I should have waited, and I could have done it today. But I did a so blending cool. technique. I don't know if you can see. It's with <clears> DIY paint. That's and brilliant. so I just stopped at um, my local thrift store and got another lamp so I can start this. And then I'll fin and show you how I do my blending techniques. And then I will finish that this one on camera and do the second coat. I'm Very using... Cool. Are you doing the same colors? I am. I'm going to do the same thing. So then I, because it's a lot of blending and I like to show how I do the, I'm really good at blending. I will pat myself. Yes, you so are. So you are I'll show thing. how I do that. <laughs> yeah. And I, I'm using DIY paint and I'm using one, two, three, four, five colors. Kissing awesome. booth, um, mermaid tail, fire starter, liquid sunshine, and boho blue nice it's and so i use pretty. a and different paint brush for each one that's oh, a, you a do. good tip yeah i do oh, nice so see um those of you that are furniture painters as well and you want to do the blending you can do the same thing on furniture so um exactly. take notes and listen to how her technique is on blending okay um, and today I am, I'm going to do some kind of, it's either going to be like a funky kind of whimsical design. I went ahead and pre-painted the base coat and you kind of can't see it, but it's kind of, I have, um, I know at least two different colors. I have Petal Pusher. This is the DIY paint brand. It's called Petal Pusher and Old 57 blended all around. Um, my oh, piece. I see it. It looks good. Yeah. I'm not sure if you can see all the variations. So you can see how it's kind of brighter in certain areas and darker in other areas. And that's where I spilled my breakfast on. 
Did you spill it on your actual yeah, project? Remember. We were oh, on here. I didn't know. I thought you spilled it on yourself. No, no. It was, <laughs> on, it was on my. Hey, yeah. guess what? You can paint over it. I'm going to be painting over that little spot right there. Yeah. That so so I was funny. literally, right before we went live, I'm literally like shoveling something into my mouth because I didn't get my breakfast this morning. So. <laughs> So, hello, we have about 20-some um, people on right now. So, hi, Stacy Hartman in the house over on YouTube. If each and every one of you could hit that sprinkle button, that would help us so much. That's how we grow. So, we really appreciate that. Um, and then what I'm going to start off doing, I'm going to use my chalk and kind of just chalk a design on here first. And then before I get painted, start painting. And I'm going to start with kissing booth on my base. And now, with the DIY paint, ooh, it covers good. I was worried because I wasn't sure. Ooh, with girl, this dark, oh, it looks good. So if it seems like I'm not looking at you guys, I have my laptop here um, that I'm. I can see a little bit better. So that looks great, Karen. Guess what? Guess who needs her glasses? Guess who needs her Probably vision me. enhancers? Probably I do too. Hi, Miss Tandy. How are you? Egg on the roof, right? Christine, you're so funny. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so anyway, if y'all have um, questions or anything for us as we're doing this, just let us know. These little bird houses. They're just plain wood. I just picked it up from Hoblob, you know. But um, they, those are really cute. They are. So I, I kind of want to do. I, I think I want to do some kind of a, a woman's face here, of some sort. And they make good gifts too, because a lot of people love birdhouses, you know. <clears throat> well, yeah, you know. Some people um, collect them. You know, back in the day, when I worked at the Longa Burger Company, we we had so many different Christmas tree themes, and one that I just loved was a birdhouse theme. We had all uh, these beautiful birdhouses stuck in the trees, and um, I don't know. We may have even put lights in the insides of them, but they, it was so cute. And then it, we had different nests and um, little birds and everything that we put in this tree, it was so pretty. And then we That's had dried, dried flowers and all that stuff. So, um, guard, is Karen, Tony Reed, Karen, is it sweater weather today? <laughs> it is, but not in my studio, not in my shop. I'm sweating, but yes, it's sweater weather. It's sweater weather. Finally. And it's okay. So yesterday was really sweater weather, but that's about it for Florida. I think we're going to be back up in the 70, the upper seventies, the rest of the week, but oh yeah. It's not no. Crazy. And oh, Mr. McDowell, my husband put yeah. the heater on today. I almost died. He heated me right out of the house. <laughs> he was like, he was like, how can I get rid of her? This he morning, right? is like, like you know, he's just one of those people that he loves the heat. You know, that's why he lives mm -hmm. in Florida. But the heater, oi. When you turn the heater on in Florida, usually you get that weird smell because you never turn the heater on in South Florida. Yeah, like that electric burning. Yeah, that electric burning dust smell, that wonderful burning dust smell. So yeah. I'm putting, I'm not watering this down. Usually on furniture, if you do a first coat, you would water down because it's mm -hmm. so thick. This is so texturized and I just really want to get it on there thick. So I'm not even, yeah, I'm not watering covering. it down. I'm going full force. It's covering really well. I'm going to grab my Oh my gosh, thing. it's covering so well. Way better than on the one that I started because the one I started was metal. This is like a, I don't know, like a stucco, a faux stucco. Mm -hmm. I was just worried about the base coat, but because it's kind of gray and working at Lowe's in the paint department, if you do any kind of um, translucent colors like 
pinks or greens or yellows on a wall or even on a piece of furniture, you have to prime it, of course, but I would always tint the primer with a little bit of black to make it gray. That even makes it better. So this is like a really good primer. Oh yeah. Already that I have on here. So. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, it even tells I you. I use all of my. I use my DIY paints on my canvases too as my. So like this piece back behind me here, the majority of what I used are the DIY paints, and I use that on my bottom layer because it does cover and it primes so well. And I noticed the canvases that they sell, they're pretty primed. They're never primed very, um, I mean, they're, they are primed, but it's a very poor job, I think, of priming. Yeah, especially on the number ones. Mm hmm On the beginner ones. Yeah, so. And the number threes are like $3 million for a 16 by 20. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. And it's ridiculous. I'm like, I don't know about that. They're actually, you know, this is made pretty well. I mean, it's a nice piece of canvas. It just needs to be primed a little bit better. So. And I love my turntable. Oh, I'm so happy. Gosh, that is brilliant. It's like the easiest thing. And I got it at a Goodwill for like two bucks. That's awesome. I, would, I use it for when I do my albums, you know? Because yeah. I don't really put the albums on an easel. Okay, so the other good thing about DIY paint is you don't have to, if you leave paint in your brushes, it's not like acrylic where you've ruined the brush. I've accidentally let mine go the whole weekend that I was closed on Sunday and Monday, and I did a big, huge dresser in boho blue in my good brush. And oh I came back, and there it was sitting there dry, and it came right out. It was so mm -hmm. awesome. So I don't usually... We're I'm not going to put this in water. I'm just going to leave it out. So I'm going to go into um, the fire starter and start to blend. No, I'm not going to start to blend. How I do it is I put on the, the one color. Then I'll do the next color. Then I'll do the next color. Then the next color. Then by the time I get back to the bottom color, then I start to blend. Because okay. if you start to blend right away... It just, it kind of makes it muddled. I'll show mm -hmm. you. I'm going to start with the fire starter. And I'm using another brush. And these are just brights that I get from um, either Michael's. But don't forget, you can also go to Ross mm -hmm. and, and Marshall's. They have a little art section where you can get Royal and Langnickel mm -hmm. as well. And which is a pretty nice brand. And it's inexpensive. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I always use when I was first starting out. It's a good starter brush. I don't know how this is turning out so far. I am kind of laying down some fleshy kind of color, and it's kind of not really showing, is it, guys? Not showing at all. Um, I'm putting on fire starter now. now. Look at that Hello. All right. So I'm going to, I got to plug. I'm going to look at the comments. Hi, Danielle. How are you? Hi, Carolyn. How are you? Christine blah. It gets gross with the heat on. Oh, I know. Right. My nose is all dried out. Hi, Alyssa. Hi, Marsha. Yes. Thank you for joining. Marcia. Thank you for joining us. Hi, Betsy. Find me up, girl. Betsy Kelly Designs. Marsha, uh -oh. I need to go back to Florida, Kelly. Can we go? Yes, you guys are welcome to come stay at my house. Yes. Awesome. I would love that. <laughs> Let's do a trip. All right. I don't know if this is going to work out, you guys. So the one thing I will tell you with paint, guys, just try it. I, I'm never, never too afraid of just trying things. If we don't like it, we can redo it. Do you know how many things I've done on lives that... <laughs> were complete disasters and well, i'm like oh well that color didn't go very well well i think that when you're doing a live it's a little nerve-wracking too it's not like you know what i mean you exactly you're trying, you're trying to paint like unless you're just doing like if i probably do easier probably painting furniture than artwork live right. i think because 
you have certain steps and you know things that you're going to do first of all it's hard to talk and paint at the same time mm -hmm. Exactly. I get quiet because I'm all concentrating. I yeah. forget that I'm on the live and I need to say something. Yep. We got, uh, oh, thank you, Christine. Drop my link there. Thanks, Christine. Christine is on it. She is. I need to hire her. Right? Yes. <clears throat> okay. So, and I'm thinking um, this gal, I'm putting like a face on here and it's going to be like a funky, whimsical, maybe kind of finish is what I'm thinking, just because I want it to be fun and playful, because when you think of um, bird houses, don't you just think of playful stuff, so. Playful that's, birds. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Um, <clears throat> and I'm thinking her hair needs to be, um, she needs to be a redhead. That's what I'm thinking. Can you guys see it's coming out real nice? Oh yeah, that looks good. Just and the first layer. So, and look, I even got a drip of the orange on the, can you see that drip? Yeah, uh, but that'll the, blend in. But I don't even care. Yeah. You almost like that's, that's already kind of set up for you as far as where you're going to blend each. I know. Thing, that's right? what I thought. So I'm going to go in now with the, um, the liquid sunshine. I'm going for a vibrant boho kind of, I got the inspiration here. I'll show you my inspiration for the colors. Okay, I got it. Why this isn't charging, hold on gang. Or we might go blank here if I don't get this charging. Here it goes. I have this real cute <laughs> boho oh, cute. bag. So Do that's you the that? Yes. You do. I do. It's one of Let's a kind. Right? Show it. Oh, show okay. It to us, so, because somebody might want it. Like, like somebody might want it. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have that on my mannequin. I, you know, I love mannequins. I'm obsessed with them for some reason. So oh, it is so it. cute. Oh, that is so cute. Yeah. Oh, and here's the little tassel. It has beads on it. It has beads on it and it's very long, so it's a crossbody. And yeah. it's all leather. Cool. And then it's crocheted. It. Oh, so it's the cutest cute. thing. Oh, I'm not even in the. And it's just really a little cute. zipper. I'll show you the inside. And it has a little compartment inside as well for like. I don't know, credit cards. This is for something, I guess, if you don't want to carry a whole purse. Yeah. Like if you just want your wallet and your phone. Right. Perfect for that. Hold your keys. Lipstick, of course. Lipstick. Lipstick. Right. As Danielle would say, yipstick. What is the bottom color? My bottom color is Kissing Booth. I'm using Kissing Booth, and then I put Fire Starter, and now I'm going to put Liquid Sunshine. All DIY paint. Betsy says, name one, name one, what, name you know, one I one. forgot what we were saying. So I'm using there another brush, cute. different brush for each color. Oh, and the yellow is very color. translucent. So let's see how it works out. Oh, it's good. <laughs> mm. And it's okay if you get a little chocolate on your peanut butter, meaning if you get a little <laughs> of the liquid sunshine on because you're going to blend them out anyway it reminds me of that commercial back when we were kids yeah was it for the reese cup yeah you got chocolate in my peanut butter and then it turned out what being really your peanut butter in my chocolate remember they fought yeah can everybody see what i'm doing yeah we can see you really well okay good I should have had Christmas music on, but I'm not sure if it's allowed. I don't think they let us. I think if we have music on, it has to be non-royalty. It has to be Facebook's music. Facebook has music? Mm-hmm. How do you do that? Well, I don't know. I'm 
figured that out yet. What's going on here? Oh, I'm on the thing. That's why. All right. So as you can see, the yellow is a little translucent, which I knew it would be. But that's all yeah, right. I'm yellow, doing two coats. Yellow is really hard to cover, isn't it? It is. But I'm going to do two coats of everything. So I always do two coats of everything. Even when I'm doing furniture and mm -hmm. so, okay, so now I'm gonna go into what color would I do over there? Mermaid tail. I don't know about this. Not well, you know it. what? This one has, I think I'll do old 57 on here, then mermaid tail, then boho blue. So I'm adding one more color because there's one more, this is a really big piece. And you know, how can I go a day without old 57? I know. Did I get too hooked on that? I think so. <laughs> there's worse things you could be hooked on. <laughs> That's true. If I can get it out of my FIFO bottle, there it goes. So, so did we have already talked to every? Did we do this? Oh, how was everyone's Thanksgiving? I don't think we. Yeah. We were on before Thanksgiving. Yeah. How was I it? I did it was um, on last night with Betsy. So. I know, and I missed it. I see horrible. it. She's so sweet. I love her. So Betsy says, I had a huge glob of paint on my face through the entire live until I went to bed that night and no one said anything. Oh, I didn't even know. I didn't know or I would have told you. Is ya. that yours from last night? From last night, Betsy? Oh. Yeah, that's what she's saying. Danielle, you love the, mo the lamp? She, Danielle said her, her Thanksgiving was amazing. She was at my house. <laughs> Bluebird said not to digress, but if you leave acrylic or glue dried on your brush, Windsor and Newton makes a great brush cleaner. Oh, that's good to know. And if, for those of you that don't know too, Murphy's oil soap, oh. soak it overnight and it'll come clean the next day and it'll be super soft. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Tony said hers was fattening her Thanksgiving. And Betsy says, no, it was from a white while ago. Oh, it wasn't from last night. Oh, okay. I was going to say, girl, I would have told you. I would have been like a little something. But right. <laughs> for talking about that, um, Betsy and I last night about how, um, you know, it's scary when you haven't gone live before and you know, and I'm like, you just have to ask yourself, like, what's the worst that could happen, right? You know, if something happens that you don't like, then you just delete it or, you know, or just kind of makes you a little more bolder, I guess. That's true. Okay. So I, I'm, I'm at the point where I don't even, I'm just myself and not yeah, you trying are. to forget That's, the camera's there. And, me too. It's kind of like, I kind of just... It, weird out when I see these facades of people that are, have the lives and they act so like just not natural, not real. I don't know. Not, Here's how I, I used to be on a live. This is me on a live back in the day. <laughs> like a deer caught in the headlights. I don't know what to say. Yeah. Now I just say whatever. Yeah. So I'm continuing on with, um, what's my, what am I saying? Yeah. I lose my words too with old 57 on this, um, next step. Okay. So what I'm doing guys, this is kind of wacky because I'm putting a lady's face on here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but because it's on an angle, it's kind of weird. That's why I wanted to chalk this out before I started, but I think it's coming together okay. No, it's it's going to come together because it always looks like nothing until it looks like something grand. Always. Yeah. Well, you know? there you go. It's, it's going to be grand. 
Okay. That's right. So, I love that up. word. You're going to be That's my grandmother's word. <laughs> um, I am using Scarlet by Master's Touch acrylic for her hair right now. Um, the background is the DIY paint. Um, it is Old 57 um, along with Petal Pusher for my background. And the DIY paint you can use with any, any kind of paint really with, as far as um, water-based because, you know, it's not toxic or anything. So you have to worry about mixing it. I do. I love it. There's, there's no smell. There's no, it's, it's grand. Grand. It really is. So I'm just trying to get her. There's hair. a smell, but it's like a earth smell. Like it's clay. It's and it comes off so easy of your skin. It just mm -hmm. comes off so easy. Yeah. When you get home and you have it in your hair and your skin on your skin, <laughs> and it just comes right off. The acrylic, you got to scrub. Betsy, we hear you, girl. She goes, I'm talking out loud back to you guys like I'm in the room. <laughs> <laughs> I know. That's when you that's know you. That's when you that's know you're with your people. Right? You're my people. Exactly. <laughs> I'm reading the comments. What did Heather say? Heather said, I usually just dip my brush back into whatever dried on it. The chemical reaction makes the dried paint. Oh. Heather, she's so smart. Wet again, and it's easy to clean off. It works great. Really? What? Even with acrylic? That's so wow. smart. See, I would have never have never guessed that but yet if you think about the waxes and stuff that's a great you, like tip. when we apply the waxes that's what we use to erase oh that's true and angela says she has asthma and diy is the best paint and it never bothers her absolutely yeah yeah i have allergies too um so that was a big reason why that and i love debbie you know I, yeah. How can you not? And it's just so easy to blend. Yes. And I'm a blender. Blender. Um, you guys, I do sell the DIY paint. If anybody needs any of that, I do sell it. Feel free to check that out. That's looking so. Cute, I sold that mermaid. Um, the, um, uh, what am I trying to say? I sold the mermaid ornament and then I got another lady who, who messaged me and she wants me to make three of them special for her tree. Cause she does, her colors are a specific color and yes. she had bought from me last year and found our little messages from Aww. Facebook. And, um, I, I actually have to get back to her and, and let her know. That is so cool. So yeah, so she, Karen makes custom ordered ornaments, guys. Yeah. So if you want something. And I am sure she will send out for you too if you want to gift it to someone. So. Oh yeah. So Absolutely. We're going to have to kind of do things a little bit differently this year. Okay, I'm kind of wishing I'm not, that I got the new molds, but I don't have any. I am not hating this so far, guys. I think it's going to be kind of fun. Hold it up close so I can see. I can't see anything. No. I love the colors. You know That's that red hair. and that red and that blue is just it's gore. I love it. I'm there. going in with mermaid tail now and a new brush. So each brush has its own color on it. Love it. And I'm just setting them aside until I get to my so now I'm going in with mermaid tail. And I'm going to try to paint so you guys can see me paint. We can actually see pretty well. So I'm, I'm looking at the monitor right now. Thank I you just meant so like much. I'm painting in front so that I'm not behind, you know. Because that. Yeah. Oh, hi, Renee. Renee Helser, how are you? I have not seen you in like so long. Yes, I'm doing a birdhouse. So good to see your face, Renee. I miss you. 
she, um, Renee has a little antique place here in Zanesville. She's out on West 40. I am sure if anybody um, wants to go, well, I'm saying this without talking to her, but I'm sure she would by appointment probably let you go through her place. Um, but she, I, I um, used to pick there a lot. So oh, we, cool. BC, before COVID. <laughs> BC, that's funny. <laughs> So, okay. good morning, Renee. Yes, yeah, she does some really cool, she upcycles stuff too, which I love. Sandra said the comment band across the bottom of the page blocks too much of the work, of our work area. Oh, well, I don't, Sandra, I'm, that's why I'm not going to leave it up. I'm just popping it up there because I want everybody to be involved. <laughs> Is that okay? I don't see it anymore. I just see our names. No, now. I just I just pop it up here and there. Oh, okay. Like, like it's right now. It's not permanent. I can, it's gone now. So see, like right now, I can pop it up and then I make it go away. See. And now, then how, how now the ones with our names on it, I can't remove that. That's that's why I just do my first name, so it takes up a little less. Oh, wow. You can just do my first name. I don't care. I think, didn't you do that? I don't know. Let me see. Oh, I did. You know what? When I come, okay, so next week I just put in Karen. It, or it popped up already. It though. doesn't matter. It's fine. Yeah. It's fine. I have a short last name. Yeah. Okay, so here's so far. And now I'm going to do the boho blue up here with a whole new um, brush. So like I said, I had six brushes, six colors, and that's how we're doing it. And then I just have a little paper plate that I put my colors on. And I do use the FIFO bottles, the in and out mm -hmm. with the yellow top. And it's it's been working good. As long as you make sure that the top and the bottom are tight. tight. Oh, I don't like this brush. It's not, it's not stiff enough. Oh, well. Um, for the skin color on my lady, I am using, this is milky white. Uh, Master's Touch Milky White and uh, Scarlet, or no, I'm sorry, Persian Red. So these two colors, that's what I'm mixing for her skin. Those of you that want to do anything, so I just put. And it looks great with the the colors on the house already. Let me move my lighting. Maybe I've got it too right right here still didn't put her little cheeks in there so i thought that i was going to be closed for the first time on black friday and then realized it was record store day what i didn't even yes. know such a thing so, yes, there's a thing as Record Store Day, and new releases come out, and um, all the record stores, your local record stores, they have, like, uh, well, before COVID, they would have, like, you know, drinks and live music, and oh it's God, twice a fun. year. It's once in April and once on Black Friday every year. It's a national thing. It's really? also an international thing, too. So that's what I need to try to come there. For record store uh, day. Right? Yeah. So then I realized, I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to open for record store day. So I opened. And then after I realized, you have to register with the national registry. <laughs> I'm just advertising on my own record store day. Come see us. We did oh, all right. But if you well, register I mean, like, as a record store. Are going to come and arrest you or what? Like, no, no, well, no. I no, mean, I but guess that you, could happen right now. <laughs> no, no, no. But if you register with them, 
then they it goes on the registry of a local place in your area and then people go on to their site and they see who is a record store and who's participating in record store day and it brings more people to your store gotcha. so i didn't even know that so i registered for next year so i'll be ready to go that's so funny i know i was cracking so up you live and learn i don't know how to do this there's well, no I directions i love you girl that's why i love you <laughs> you're like hey yeah i'm doing it yeah, I'm so doing I'm in. It for day. I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> and I did really well, but you know, with my regular customers, you know. Mm -hmm. There you go. And I advertised everywhere and you know, on the platforms and stuff. Mm -hmm. It was fun. And then small small business Saturday was really fun too. Was it now? See, I was slow. It was really weird. I was really slow. Now, Friday, really? I was busy. Yeah, Friday, busy all day. I didn't get hardly any painting done, which is fine because I was busy. Right. Saturday, well, crickets. Crickets? <laughs> yes. Crickets? I was, like, I was like, what is wrong? What is, what is happening? <laughs> like, this is so weird. But, um, but anyway, so... I've okay, got. so here it is. And this looks black, but it's boho blue. I love boho blue. So now I'm going to do the blending. Should I do the blending on this or should I do it on my other one? Yeah, I'll just keep going on this one. No, yeah. I mean, yeah, I think you need to show it on that. So yeah, I'm just going to keep like, going. Is it, too wet? it looks really cool just like that. It does. It really does. Okay, so now I have my brush that I'm using strictly for the bottom color, which is Kissing Booth. And I'm gonna go in and touch up where I feel it needs the second coat. Kissing Booth covered really well. Mm -hmm. But I still like to do two coats on everything. I'm, I'm cray cray like that. Cray cray, no, professional. So let's see. I'm going to read some comments. Oh, they're talking to each other. How nice. I love that. It's like a little community. It is. It is. So we had such a fun time last night, too, just chit-chatting because we weren't really. I have to go watch the replay. Oh, it was it was good. Betsy and I didn't do a project. We were talk. We were it was business talk. So it was ah. really interesting. Yeah, I thought. Was... Okay, so I I'm gonna tell you guys what I'm doing here. I just extended her body and her shoulders and stuff down on that ledge. So. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I love that. I love that. I'm going to see it up close. It's going to be head. different. Oh, my gosh. I love that. It's different. That is so cute. Thank you. All right. So I'm going to take some bright. That is so good. Bright orange. And I'm going to start highlighting her hair a little bit. Why well, I left that the other part dry. And then I would, is watching I, would like know, I would like to know from the rest of you, like, now that you kind of see what she's looking like, so what else do you see on here along with her? Because I thought it would be fun to turn these into, like, little story, story houses or something. I thought about calling them, like, horse feathers. <laughs> like, have, like, what? a whole series. Horse feathers. My dad always used to say that to me when I was little. He actually still does. Like if I say, talk, and you know how little kids talk and they get all off. You know, I had ADD, so I'd go off on. <laughs> oh, horse feathers. And he'd go, oh, horse feathers. He, horse, horse feathers. So I'm like, oh, look oh, what I look did. I just pain. touched it. <laughs> I just touched it. Oh, cool. Sandy. She says, I'm watching intensely while I'm painting a guitar. I know. How cool. So cool. Sorry, I went to get my baby wipes because I stuck my hand right in my white, my wet paint. Um, I oh, was trying oh. to sh show the blend. You blend. <laughs> 
But look how easy it comes off. It does. Love, DIY. Love hey, DIY. tell Bill I said hi, Marsha. I know you're listening, Bill. But anyway, Marsha's husband, Bill, wants to know what is record day? Where in Florida? So they actually have a place they go to in Florida every year. So I think they're. Well, they're if you go to on to the national, uh, if you go, well, it's over now. Usually they have it in April, one day in April. And on Black Friday, every year is National Record Store Day. And all the local record stores register with National Record Store Day. And then if you go on National Record Store Day's site, they will, you put in your, your zip code and they will tell you all the record stores, local record stores in your area. We're not talking like Walmart or anything like that. We're talking small business record stores, record shops. I love that. Yeah, so, it's yeah. really cool. And it's national too. So, yeah. I mean, it's international. That's what I meant. To say. International, yeah. I think that um, I need to schedule a, a trip there in the spring. Definitely. So, I'm going to show, I blended this, the kissing booth, into the orange. I don't know if you can tell just on this mm -hmm. one little side. So I'm gonna show you how I did it. So now that the color is on there, you go in with your first color on the bottom and you give it a little swipe and then you get your brush of the, the orange or whatever color you're doing and you give a little swipe. And now you're moving the, the wet paint around and you just keep switching brushes back and forth and it's cool. And the reason she can do that, you guys, is because the DIY paint is reactivated when you get it wet. So, so there's that the is blend. exactly what's happening. Right? Yeah. Yeah, it reactivates with, yeah, when you get it wet. Yeah, I love it. I probably okay. should have done yellow next to the pink to make the orange. Whatever. It's all right. Uh, it, looks, it looks good. And I am adding some highlights to this gal's hair so that she, I want her to have just this beautiful, I don't know why, I just, I love redheads. <laughs> just, I always tried to have red hair back in the you day. You do on yourself? Yeah. You I, like well, I mean know that it looked that good on me but I love red hair well I went red I, I've been every color you know yes I'm old so I went through every phase in the yeah. world same but well I'm not old though <laughs> <laughs> I am I have no problem I'm saying you're, it. you're younger than me aren't you no yes you. I think so I'm 61 oh girl yeah, I told you. Oh. So you're like, what? Yeah, dude, I'm old. It, dude. You're my sister's age. Yes, I'm okay. So I'm not saying I'm old. I'm just older. Yeah, so, and then I, I dyed my hair black because it was my goth stage, you know, listening to The Cure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the Cure. Yeah. Did and that didn't work because my you know? hair, my hair was meant to be blonde. So every time I washed it, it would come out a little bit more orange and I'm talking orange like an orange. Yeah. Okay. So now I'm moving on to the next tier and I'm bringing a little bit of the orange up and then I'll get my yellow brush. Oops. I don't have my yellow paint. This one I'm just dipping. I didn't have any room on my I'm going to do a whole, I'm just going to do this whole thing because it's not bright enough. Crystal, like, she says, she said, the birdhouse reminds me of Anne of Green Gables. Oh my gosh, my, that'll make my mom happy. My mom loves that show. I that never book. heard of it. Anne of Green Gables. My mm. mom has it on video. She loves it. Not real sure what it's about, but. <laughs> but she loves but, it. But she loves it. You know what I watched for the first time the other mm. day? You're gonna you're gonna be shocked. What? Take a wild guess. Um, 
I, I can't. I don't know. Breakfast at Tiffany's. Okay, I need to watch it because I. Oh, you don't have any either. I don't think. Maybe with my mom when I was little, and I was like, eh, "Where's the Fred Flintstone?" I don't know. Yeah, I would love to watch that. So, um, you you make it a point to watch it tonight. So, um, did you love it? Um. Oh, no, no, it's not what I expected. <laughs> I no. think it's been so hyped up that I. She's a prostitute. Uh uh, stop it. I did not know that. I mean, that's huh. what I got out of it. Anybody huh. else? Am I wrong here? Somebody please correct me if I read here, that. Let's look at if the comments. I, did I take that wrong? Somebody. Where's, where's Maria? And Maria would know. And same with the guy that she ended up being with. He was like basically a gigolo or I don't know, a gigolo. He was her I guess. Pimp? No, he don't was, say no, his. he was a, he was like a gigolo. Whoops. I know. I was sitting there watching it thinking like, um Oh, Sandra. Good analogy. She said it was the original pretty woman. <gasps> I was that's what made that would sound yeah, I was just thinking I couldn't get my words out. Yeah. I didn't That's see, I, I didn't know. Now, had I watched Breakfast at Tiffany's first, I would have, yeah, I can see that now. I was just watching it, like, kind of like, wait a minute, what is going, I was, it took me a while. I'm a little swell. <laughs> I'm a little naive when it comes to that. Well, obviously like, you're oh. not because you, you picked up on it. I was kind of like, wait a minute, I think she's a prostitute. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute, what's happening? <laughs> I did not know that. Now I want to watch it even more. Crystal says she's more of a call girl, but isn't that the same? I mean, is one is, is one different call, than the other? A call girl isn't that pretty much the same? Oh, so I'm stupid. But anyway, I was like, huh? Who'd have thought? I didn't know that all these years. Right. Funny. I know we're probably going to get some comments on that one, aren't we? Hey, you know what? That's why we say um, create and caffeinate and other shenanigans because you don't never know what's going to be. <laughs> right. <it> will be. <laughs> or maybe you just said something that everybody else was afraid to say and you said it oh, first. Maybe. Or maybe like it's just known and I'm just not figuring it out. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. I had no idea. I'm gonna either. call in my mom after this and ask her. <laughs> Oops, I keep touching them. Okay, so this is her hair, everybody. So I added just a really, really bright, fiery orange to the base color. And I think it's it gave it the movement that it needed for the hair. Um Sandra says one is a street walker and the other makes dates in quotes by phone. <laughs> so yeah, a girl, <laughs> Crystal so says, one's an escort. <laughs> Crystal goes, Hey, a girl got to eat dinner. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> <"Hey."> <laughs> a girl got to eat. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> oh, shoot. Okay, Heather says it's a great movie. Definitely not what people think it is. They are opportunists. Okay. <laughs> they, well, that's, yeah, that's a word for it. Opportunist. That's what we're going to say. Original sugar baby. But the thing is, Crystal is calling her sugar baby. She had many gentlemen. It wasn't just... And then she had one, which was the richest one that she was going to marry. And when she... Well, I don't want to tell everybody, but anyway, escort is different because she gets dinner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> okay, escort is different. She gets her. <laughs> she gets fed that's first. So funny. Okay. All right. I'm like. So what else did we decide? 
and oh, and breakfast apparently. <laughs> if they stay long enough. Okay. Well, let's, let's go breakfast at Tiffany's. Oh, that's right. <laughs> oh, that's good. Like, me and Karen are like, oh. <laughs> Oh my We're gosh. just over here painting our life away, not really realizing what's I know, going I'm trying on around to make, us. I keep sticking my hands in everything. <laughs> yeah, I need a drink of coffee. Uh, Melanie says, hey ladies, I've got two lamps, so I've got to figure out what to do with. Well, if you are watching Karen, you can do exactly what she is doing in any color sequence that you yeah, want. Yeah, any color. So hers is really bright and boho-y and she likes that funky. It matches her vibe in her um, studio. Um, but yeah, you can, you can do like if you're into farmhouse, you can do all the farmhouse blues and grays and um, You can even do it white with the dark wax and. Yeah, you could, um, what else? Farmhouse, boho, um, yeah, what else is there? Be there's beachy. You could do all the beachy colors. Oh, coastal, like corals coastal. and. Mm -hmm. That would be pretty. You could um, metallic it mm -hmm. and go glam. You could gild it or gold leaf it and go mm -hmm. super glam. Yeah. So, Melanie, what is your style? Is this Melanie Lingle or another Melanie, Melanie? K. Carpenter? Hi, Melanie K. Carpenter. We're meeting all these new friends on here. So if you don't know, you guys, every Wednesday, Karen and I go live at 11 Eastern time, um, doing just different little things. And then we sell everything that we make. <clears throat> I did a lamp in yellow and with uh, the shipwreck wax. Mm -hmm. I actually have it here, but I'm not gonna, it's too much to get over there. But um, <laughs> <laughs> I'd have to unplug it's a whole too thing. Much. I'd have to it's, unplug a whole thing. <laughs> but uh, it looks really cool. And it's kind of like a Grecian type of thing. You know how Greece has lots of colors and it looks really cool. Yes. She just said, I don't know. I'm trying to make my lower level into a living space for my elderly parents. So do they have a, I would ask, you know, or look at their previous decor and I would probably keep it very updated, but keep it, you know, keep it similar um, with the elderly. You don't want to change their style at that point. They like what they like. And so or you and you can show them pictures like on Pinterest and see what they like. Mm -hmm. But you never know. Maybe they're like YOLO. Well, that'd I'm, be awesome. I want a lot of color. All right, that'd what am I awesome. doing? Oh yeah, I got this brush. I hate this brush right now. Okay. That's okay. This brush, I like the stiffer brush brushes when I'm doing this. This is kind of I think more like a watercolor brush. So. So what else should I put on here, guys? What about ivy? Some greens and, okay. And I'm just going in with uh, my two, my two colors of blue. Oh, she says my mom was a florist, so she loves color. Oh, that's good. Karen, that looks pretty. Can you see the ombre effect? I can. Can you can y'all see it? That it, I think that it's more subtle on that lamp than your other one because of all of the It is. Like I think I need to blend more. Yeah, I would. Maybe I'll come I would down. blend more. I would blend like Maybe I should blend down I would, instead of I would up. blend each color halfway into the middle of, of each of the color. section where the section bumps out. Yeah. So that it's more of a, um, yeah. 
There you go. Betsy says a bird. Paint a bird on here. Yeah, I could do that. Let's do a bird. You know it's going to have feathers somewhere on here. Right? Oh yeah, feathers. That's your that's your signature. It's good to have my feathers. Birds of a feather. Great. Let's see. And then I'll seal this with big top. Yeah. I don't know if I'll seal it with wax. I think big top would be better. Because I want it kind of shiny. I don't know. Maybe I don't know. using the right brush yeah. we're getting quiet now we must be into it huh i am because i realized i should have blended down instead of up but that's all right um because you can't see the up it's up under here i needed to blend down instead of up so that's what i'm doing now um vero gloria she's asking why can't i see all the comments that is because i am on multiple platforms i'm also on facebook as well as youtube so some of the comments that i'm reading i'm looking at the monitor here too so some of those comments that i'm reading <clears throat> are from other platforms so i hope that answers your question a bride with big feathers that's what Betsy Kelly said. Oh, a bird? A bride. A bride? With big feathers. You know what that reminds me of? That sex in the city when she got married to Big and she had that big bird on her head? Yeah, but she said a bird, not a bride. But oh, yeah. a bird! I read it <laughs> wrong. <coughs> Oops. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to do a bird. No. Not really looking like a bird. So I'm just spinning this around and around and doing my blending. I don't know if you can see it's it's getting a little better. See the blues and the greens? I Is think that, that looks better, yeah. yeah. Better, better. That looks better. Now you can actually see it. Yes. All that right. looks so, really pretty, Karen. Let yes, me just Karen. continue on down to the orange. That looks really cool. I love those uh, vibrant colors that you're using. I do too. I'm just a boho girl. You are. Love it. Oh, I love my little turntable. This is the best trick ever. Isn't it? Yes. Y'all can make one of those, um, you know, with like a, they have them like wooden cheese trays that, that turn. Yeah. I'm telling you, I got this for like $1.99 or maybe even 99 cents at Goodwill. That's awesome. And like I said, I got it specifically for the records that I paint because you can't really put them on an easel. Right. That's smart girl. Okay. Here's my bird. I don't know. It's just not really what I originally wanted it to be, but that's how it's looking so far. I'm still building it up a little bit.
and I just keep blending the, the yellow down into the orange. And then if I went too far, then I take my orange brush and I go back, back up. Oh, that's so much better. Oh, you couldn't even see it before. I could see it because I'm sitting right at it. Yeah. Karen, what paint do you use on the records? I use um, either DIY or acrylic or both. But remember, Karen, people will see this a little different in a room than the camera angle. Yes, exactly, Heather. That is exactly right. Do you know what you're going to do next week? Callie. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing tomorrow. Callie, I have to do something on Friday, too, with the girl gang. I do, too. I'm, I'm doing I have, me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do have something... Uh, no, I don't know what I'm doing next week. Oh, it's so I funny. Right? I don't know how you do it. You have 89 shows going and you have to come up with all this stuff. It's not easy. Oh, I, I mean, sometimes I just, well, I got to make stuff to sell. So I just work on stuff that. Yeah. My that's... thought is that's why I started doing these little, um, you know, I thought about doing these little birdhouses because it's something usable. Right. So, whereas, like, the person that maybe doesn't want a big piece of canvas, they would maybe buy a little birdhouse and have That's it displayed, true. and then they could put it out, actually use it in the springtime if they wanted. But, so I want to make them all of these really bright, and I think that'd be cute. I guess mine's more of a DIY than a, I mean, you can give a lamp as a gift, but <laughs> that yeah. would be like, like the movie with Steve Martin. All I need is this lamp and this ashtray. <laughs> what was that? The was that? Was um, that? <laughs> it was, um, the jerk. Yes. Oh my gosh. And the dog. That was so funny. That, that movie. was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't thought of that movie in so long. I'm oh, like, wow, well, I used to be in, in production for over 20 years in South Florida, in Fort Lauderdale and Miami. And so I did music videos and commercials and all kinds of stuff. I was uh, first AD. And so my whole... Experience? I didn't know yeah. that. And I did set design and food design and... All kinds of stuff. I did makeup. Girl. Oh, yeah. It so was a really cool. fun time. That's awesome. Yeah. So that's my mindset. 20 years of doing something that you love. And then when we're all on the set, we would all quote movies and yes. shows. And so that's why sometimes on my live, I'll say if I'm painting something and it turns out absolutely horrid. I'll say, oh, I jumped the shark. And that saying comes from, I don't know if you guys remember, in Happy Days, the Fonz, there was one episode, and it was an older episode, like when they were getting towards the end of the series. He was in his jacket and everything, and it was skiing, and it was got a, he had to save someone. He was water skiing, and he had to jump a shark. So he jumped like a great white shark. I mean, it was just oh my horrible. God. And so in the business, we always say, yeah, we jumped the shark on that one because that was the worst episode and the worst scene in Happy Days that's ever. So, so that's where so Jump the Shark were, comes from. So you did, you did decor on those sets? I did what? You did like stage decor on... For the happy days? I staged decor. I, um, but for yeah. happy days? So that makes so much no, sense. No, not for happy days. Oh. But I'm just it? saying that's where that saying came from. But when I when we did, uh, yeah, I did staging, um, like set, set staging and food staging and mm -hmm. all this stuff for the commercials and the music videos. And then makeup as well. Because, you know, they're like, Oh, can you do makeup? And I'm like, sure, for an extra 600 bucks a day. Of course I can. Yeah. And then you learn how to do makeup. 
But really what I was well, was I the mean, continuity. it's not breakfast of temp Tiffany's, but, you know, it worked, right? It right. did the job. <laughs> right. <laughs> now, what was I going to say? I forgot what I was saying. Anyway, it was so much fun. So much fun. And then they also used my house as location to shoot. Really? And, um, yeah, it was so fun. That's so, so I think cool. that's where, you know, my creativity started. Yes. Oh, I know what I was going to say. My first, my first and foremost job was called first AD, which is the first assistant to the director. And I would sit next to him and I'd watch the monitor and I'd say, oh no, they had a green shirt on in this scene. Cause you don't go scene step oh, by yeah. step by step. You make sure do, that it's all consistent. Right. Everything continuity. You could go mm -hmm. from scene one to scene eight, just because that was in the same room or yeah. the same location. But I made sure that everything, if the glass was half full in scene one, it needs to be half full in the scene eight where the, you know. Oh yeah. Yeah, oh, Daniel says they also used your kids for commercials. That's right. My kids were in the commercials. Danielle was famous. Oh, but she gosh. still is famous, but yeah. That's so cool. Huh. Yeah, it was really fun. Isn't it fun to like look back on your life and see just all the things that you've done? Oh, I know. It's crazy. Like, huh. Ah, it's been a wild ride, huh? Yeah. And now I own my own brick and mortar. I know. Isn't that cool? Yeah. So happy for you. Thanks. So, and so to think that it's doing so well, too, during a pandemic, that should give some of you hope out there that those of you that are struggling or you're just starting out, you know? Yeah, because, I mean, things are, you know, they open up as long as you're safe and people want to get out. Mm -hmm. So there's never, you know, never say never, I guess, you know? Right. I'm so much happier with this that you can see my blend. Yeah, it looks great. Can you see it from there? Yes. That looks so good. That does look good. I'm pleased. Mm -hmm. Does girl. <clears throat> yeah, Danielle was in a video where um she that it was child abuse. Uh oh. And like a PSA thing. And where to get help and stuff for that. And she they used her in there. And then they also used her and my son for a product called Better Blocks. It was a guy from New Zealand. It was fun. They loved coming to the studio and doing stuff. Um, wait a minute. I'm having trouble connecting. I think we almost, I think we might. Do you see us still running? Yeah, it says we're live. Okay. Because on my end, it says. Oh, we went a little over. Maybe it does it stop it. No, it says the Internet's having trouble connecting. Mm. Let's ask them. How is everything? It says we're live and we have 11 people. All right. But I do, I guess we went, it's, we went for one hour and eight minutes and I finished. Can you believe her? I don't even believe. Oh, I need to do the top part. Okay. It says we're still, I don't know. It totally went blank on my end. Well, as long as it, I can't see comments, so can you? Um, I <clears throat> Danielle says perfect. You're here. Heather says you're here. Betsy says you're good. Everything's good. Okay. Everything is good. And good. It's all good. I'll show you guys what I'm. I'm just kind of adding some greenery and leaves and things right now. So right now I'm going to, I'll just be working around and doing filler as basically. So my main focal is going to be her and I'll add her little eyes and little pouty lips and stuff. Um, that is so cute. But, oh, and the bird. I love it. Yeah. 
so it'll be kind of just fun and whimsical. Let's see. Whoops. Try to log back in. Why do I have yellow in my red in my thing? See, now I do oh. have a brush. Why do you have your peanut butter in my chocolate? I know. I had peanut butter in my own chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Because I kind of forgot what I was doing. Oh, I see what I'm doing. No, that doesn't make any sense. Oh, I just I got lost. I'm not sure where I'm going with this now. Oh, yeah, I messed up. Okay, I see what I'm doing. <laughs> oh. Silly me. These blues are so close to each other. I, I yeah. Like, what the heck? Oh, there's my brush. That's why I grabbed the wrong brush. Oy vey, I say. Oy. Wow. Are we going to keep going? Uh, it's up to you because you're the one that's open right now, right? Well, apparently no one wants to come in. I have my doors <laughs> open. <laughs> yeah. Apparently I'm no keep, one's I'm shopping keep, today. I'm going to keep painting regardless of, I just want to, I at least want to get this done because it'd be nice to maybe do To have it done. Little, it's a cute little gift for Christmas maybe. It's just, I will say, all the angles, that's taken a little bit longer than I anticipated. Yeah, that's that's hard to to keep in focus what you're doing. Yeah. <clears throat> it's not easy being green. It's not. All right. Let's see. I just love blending. Yeah, I'm you're really good at it. it. You, you've got the knack for it, girl. Okay, the comments are, Karen, that's looking good. Thank you, Alyssa. I keep popping back and forth from work. Ooh, you bad girl. What will you seal yours with, Kelly? Super cute, Kelly, and super awesome lamp. Thank Thanks. you, Angela. Um, I'm going to use big top because this, I want it to be able to be outside, right? So are you using big top or will you use something from a spray can? Probably big can top. Can big top go outside? I think so. I've used it okay. outside before. Oh, you have? Have you? Have you? I mean. I prefer to use something a little stronger if it goes outside. What would you use? I use um, the, um, I think it's called, I forget the name of it. It's uh, like a lacquer, a cl crystal clear lacquer, and but it's not it water-based. It's won't not water-based, it's oil-based. Won't that turn yellow? Not if you get the crystal clear. They have them out now. Not There's an amber one and a crystal clear one. The new one is crystal clear. <clears throat> I guess maybe over time it might. I, I don't know. And then someone else said, what is the lamp made of? And um, the lamp is made of, I think, like, um, it, it's made to look like stone. Let's see if I can lift it up. It's like a clay stone with a bunch of texture on it. Pretty heavy. <clears throat> but really it sure cool. did work great for what I'm doing. So will you ship that out if somebody wants it? Yeah, I'll ship it. Because that'll be a little heavy, huh? It will. Well, not as heavy as furniture. So Not as heavy as furniture, right.
So what I'm doing, I'm adding all this greenery, and as I come forward with the greenery, my colors are going to get lighter and brighter. So my, my background greenery is a little bit darker. I don't know if you'll be able to see this or not on here. I'm not sure how it'll show, but the background will be darker and my foreground will be a little lighter. The light's hitting it. That's kind of what I'm going for. <clears throat> I'm just bringing this orange down. I hope everyone can see to meet the kissing booth halfway so that you can see at least some sort of a blend. Yeah, you blend. That's cousin Vinny. <laughs> My cousin Vinny. And I got to be careful too, because sometimes when you use, not sometimes, but if you overwork your DIY paint, Mm -hmm. It will lift it back off because it does activate with water. So you got yeah. there's a happy, <clears throat> excuse me, a happy medium, you know. <gasps> oh, Alyssa said it's snowing there. Where are you? She's Where in Jersey. She? Oh, is she? Yeah, we had uh, we woke up with snow yesterday. My daughter's school. Did you really? Mm -hmm. They canceled school yesterday. Really? And when I left last night, it was snowing when I went home. Wow. So pretty. That just freaks me out because, you know, I live in Florida. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, it's so hot here. Okay. So I think I'll probably add, I don't know, something flowery at some point on this too a little just a little touch maybe or maybe i put the little flowers in her hair what do you think yeah put the flowers in her hair like what do you think daisies or something oh that's my favorite is it yeah i knew that that's why i sent you that daisy postcard thing oh because they're my favorite oh mm. sweet and you basically taught me how to paint. Aw. Well. If you guys ever want to. I don't know if everybody here is in the class. <clears throat> in your creative um, club. But it, it's a it's a great place to be. Aw, thanks. I'll never forget. I was so scared. And I, I the first thing I did was my the sunflowers. Yes. Yeah, so and I just, I, you know, YOLO, and I posted it on there. And, man, everybody is so encouraging and so helpful. It's like a really a fantastic group. I've made so many yeah. friends yeah, out of your group. Um, I'm probably going to be opening it up um, sometime soon. Pro probably, I, I was thinking about waiting until after Christmas. After the holidays, yeah. yeah. Let everybody recoup. And then um, open it up and, and then get some new people in. Because I think that, honestly, with, you know, the economy and just everything being the way it is, people are so afraid right now. And I think that's art is a great way to channel that. Oh, yeah. Uh, so here's my little daisies. I'll try to turn it and do this a little bit backwards so y'all can see. Okay, I'm going to hold this up. Oh, so pretty. That looks great, Karen. That really yeah. does. It turned you, out good. Yay. You are the queen of blending. The blending. That is boho. Oh, I must not have done the top over here. Oops. I'm going to get another brush. I don't like that brush. It's too soft. Yeah. It's, I think it's good. Um, we were talking about this earlier before we went live about when, you, especially when you're a beginner, trying out some of the cheaper brushes at first until you kind of like see what like, you even like, like what you like. Um, and then you can, as you know what you like, then you can kind of move into professional grade, uh, you know, if you'd like because they are expensive 
um, oh. professional grade ones and but they are nice there's a reason you know that they're made the way they are oh i love the little daisies in her hair good idea um but yeah you just play around with those inexpensive brushes and like I said, you can get them at Ross, and yeah. I found even canvas at Ross. Mm-hmm. If you, if you find, like, I just made a drip of boho blue on my little thing here, mm -hmm. and I wiped it off, and it wiped off some of my paint, but then you just go back in with your wet paint, and you continue to, to blend away with each brush. So that, oops, this brush is my mermaid tail and this brush is my old 57 and you just keep going at it and you'll fix whatever you did wrong. This paint is so forgiving. Yeah. That I love it. It really is. It's kind of addicting. Um, what I like about it too, those of you that are just, not just, I'm not going to say just, but if you're a crafter or artist and you're not really into the furniture painting, they have the eight ounce sizes that are perfect for that. Oh yeah. Uh, which I do have more coming in. I am sold out of some of those colors, but I have a shipment that I'm just waiting on. It should be coming any day now, so... Um, if I don't have what you need. And even if you want to use it on a piece of furniture, the, uh, those little eight ounces will do one small. Yeah. Well, I guess it depends on the color though, doesn't it? So this is a little daisies like, in her hair. I'm going to get oh, some Oh, I bright love it. That is yeah. so cute. Let me get some bright yellow. Thank and you, Heather. The little, the little centers in. Whoops. Brenda loves the birdhouse. And Heather said, those were my first two, Karen, the ones on the old 57 background. I forgot what we were talking about, but. What? I don't know. Oh. I forget what I talk about. <laughs> I'm no help to you now anymore, am I? <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm no help to oh you. Oh, my God. <laughs> what? I did it again. I thought oh. my paintbrush was dry. Oh, man. You ever have one of those days like when you're making it, you're doing a project and you're sitting at your little table and you're doing it all and then you drop something. Mm -hmm. And then you go to bend down to pick it up and you move your chair out of the way, but then it rolls into the wheels of the chair and then you yep. back up even more and then your hair goes into the paint and it's now a domino effect of... Mm -hmm. Why that's, did I even bother doing that's this? That's my life right there. And usually I, I have done, I'm like, what is Usually wrong? I'm live with, on video while it's happening. So oh. I'm kind of like, huh, well, there, there went that. There's that. And I just go. It's so funny. That happened to me the other day. And I'm like, I was, it was, I had to laugh. It was so comical. I'm like, only, this is like a Lucy and Ethel thing. That's exactly like, what, what are you going to do? Yeah. Oops. I hear cars slamming into everything out there and nobody's coming to say hi. Oh, well. Yeah. Are you typically pretty busy on Wednesdays? Or? You know, I'm going to tell you, there is no rhyme or reason as to what days I'm busy. Yeah. Last week, Wednesday might have been fantastic. And this week, crickets. It doesn't matter what day it is. There's no one day that's, yeah. you know, I can't, there's no, al I don't know what it is. There's no algorithm. There's no, yeah. no way science to, to it. Way to make sense of it, huh? Yeah, there's no way to make sense of it. I get you. Well, that's why I just, that's why I changed my public hours. Um, 
but what I'll do is if I'm here and I'm not on a live, I'll wait on customers if they, if there are any that come or sometimes right. they'll contact me. They'll know I'm done with my live and they'll be like, Hey, are you going to be there? I'm going to come by and get something. And so that works out. But yeah. Yeah. There's no, I have no, and Maria and Ashley, who are three doors down from me at Gray Gardens, they told me that. I said, mm -hmm. when's your busiest day? They're like, there's no, there is no science to that, you know. So if you see, I'm just going back and forth with each color until I get the blend that I like with each brush. Each brush has that different color on it. So then mm -hmm. there's my top blend with the mermaid tail and the boho blue. And oh, I just keep blending and blending and blending. That looks so good. And I realized just do little each little section at a time because this paint does tend to dry very fast. If it does dry too fast, I'd you just mist it with a little water. I'm not using the water today because I don't want to dilute the paint because I want the full thing. And I, ha and I have a small little section that I'm doing, you know, so it's okay. But if you're doing a bigger section, like a piece of furniture or something, I definitely water is involved. Yes. And that's my story and I'm sticking that's to it. That's story. I don't know. I'm trying to put her eyes in and I made them a little bit too runny. And then it's hard too because this paint dries lighter. So you're like, what color was that? Yeah. Exactly. But I'm I think I'm complete. I have completed the process. Well done. All right, girl. I am. I'm still I I'll be working so. online for a while, probably. So I I probably won't get it done right now, but I'll post a picture of it. I'll show you. Oh. My little face is not so distorted with the light coming through, but this is what she's looking like. Oh, I love that. That is so cute. I'm looking on the bottom. I still have to just kind of, I'm going to put some details in and I'll put her little lips in and just kind of outlining a little so bit. So cute, Kelly. I love that. Thanks. That is so cute. Oh, Heather was talking about the sunflower. That was her first painting as well. Oh, it was? That's what she was saying. Yeah. Yeah, y'all did amazing I job. I think we picked a hard one to start out with. Oh, really? But y'all did so good. Well, not maybe just like, because that was with all different kinds of, because I remember texting you going, what kind of medium do I need to buy? Is it high gloss, glossy? You know, oh, the because oh, that was the impasto. That was that was the yeah, that was the impasto, which so for those of you watching, impasto is basically thick, thick painting and you use a knife with it. So that's what she's talking about, because we do sunflowers a lot in the class. Oh, there it is. Yeah, you did a good job on that girl. That's so cool. And it's very thick and yeah, I, very I texturized. This. And this yeah. was my first one that I did in Kelly's class. Yeah, she rocked it. She was like, I cannot believe I just did that. I'm like, I know. And it says 2019 on it. I put the date awesome. on it. Awesome. 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 All right. How, so oh, yeah. we want to call it a day here? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, guys. Well, thank you. For joining Thank us you today. So much. Karen, you did a beautiful job. So did and, you. Um, I'll be working on mine a little bit throughout the day and then I'll post pictures. Uh, everything that you saw here today will be for sale on our website. So you can go to Vintage Vibes Good Finds. That's Karen's um, yep, site. Dot com. Has, that's her site. And then mine is girlupcycledstudio.com. Um, so 
if you are interested or you want any of the supplies or anything like that, just get a hold of us, okay? So until next week, we'll see you again here at 11 o'clock Eastern time. And it'll be a surprise to everybody what we're doing because- we It's a surprise to us. <laughs> oh, you know what I was gonna say? If there's something that maybe they wanna see us do, they can put it in the comments below. Yes. Yes. And, and we can try to do, like you know, if there's something that you guys want yes. to see. So each one of you that are watching, what would you like to see us do in the future? Because we're going to do this every week. So um, also before you um, leave the feed, even if you're catching the replay, if you could please sprinkle the love for us, that helps us grow. That's a great way to support small business. And we so appreciate all of you. Okay. All right. So we'll see you all next week. Thank you so much. See you next right. week. Thank you. Bye-bye, everyone. We're still live. <laughs> Why am I?